I recognized my mother's spot of grace just a couple of years before she died. Previously, she had represented someone who was not very present or centered or even interested in me. She spent the last couple of years of her life looking out of the window of her apartment watching the world, I suppose. She knew when everybody in the neighborhood came and went, and she made up stories about their lives. Some stories were rooted in what she knew about them, but some she contrived. She would tell me these stories, and soon she would be telling me a story of her own. In the 40-odd years I'd been alive, my mother had told me little about her life, but now words were tumbling out of her. She told me stories about her childhood growing up poor on a strawberry farm, and how much she hated strawberries because of how many she had picked. She told stories about her loneliness at being the youngest of nine children, as her oldest brothers and sisters were gone and married with children of their own when she was born. She told stories about her father and how he would not allow her to go to nursing school, but insisted she go to secretarial school, even though she had saved the money herself. And she told stories about how much she loved her mom, how good her mom was to her, and how her mom protected her from a father who could be aloof at best and physically cruel at worst. The mother that I had avoided, I suddenly wanted to spend more time with and get to know her in a way I never expected. She talked as if in a trance. I think she knew I was there, but I'm not sure it made a difference. What mattered was that the stories were told. I looked at my mother with curious eyes. She was a brand new person to me in a very old body that wasn't working well. In her stories, I recognized her spot of grace and felt great compassion and love for her.